Hi guys, welcome to Train Forever, and today we're talking about the benefits of burpees. I do not believe that the burpee has any measurable benefit beyond the fact that it's physical activity, which in itself has countless benefits, but that in itself is a very weak justification for a specific exercise. The burpee is particularly problematic because it's done so poorly most of the time. And because of this, I think doing burpees leaves people vulnerable to injury. Also, nobody likes them. It's fair to ask, what if the burpee's done well? Fair enough, if a burpee is executed well, I don't think it's putting anybody in harm's way. But it's also fair to ask, what's the benefit of the burpee? Why are we doing it? Why is it in your program? And that's the root of the issue. I don't believe that there is any benefit unique to the burpee, and more importantly, I think that there is always a better option regardless of your training goal. Whatever you're trying to get out of the burpee, there is another exercise that is going to be safer, more effective, brings you closer to your goals in less time, and importantly, more enjoyable. The fact that nobody likes burpees is an important part of this discussion. I also don't think that Zumba is great exercise, but a lot of people really seem to enjoy it, and it gets people who might otherwise not exercise at all, it gets them active. So that's great, and if you like Zumba, enjoy your Zumba class. To my knowledge, I've never put a burpee in a training program that I've made for somebody. So I actually had to look up what the supposed benefits of burpees are. So after doing a little bit of research, these are the things that proponents of the burpees seem to tell as the benefits. Let's go through each one by one to explore why there's always a better option. The first point is that burpees are a total body workout. This is one of those things that sounds great, but doesn't really mean anything. Is it important to train your whole body? Of course. Is it important to do it in one movement? No, not at all. If you're blocking off time in your day to exercise and do burpees, you could just as easily do a series of squats, lunges, push-ups, and any other combination of movements. It's also incorrect to say that a burpee is a total body workout. Yes, the legs and the arms and the trunk are involved, but it's not doing anything for your adductors, your tibialis anterior, your glutes, your posterior deltoid, your forearms. You get the point. The next thing, and this is the most important thing, is even though the whole body is involved, how is it involved? How is it training your body? Is the burpee making you stronger or more powerful? No, not particularly. Certainly not compared to many other exercises. Just because something is work doesn't mean that it's making you better. And that's always the point which is a nice segue into our next point, burpees get your heart rate up. Yes, 100%, burpees absolutely get your heart rate up, but so does running, cycling, swimming, skipping rope, a strength training circuit, and this. It's important to get your heart rate up, but literally anything, literally anything can do that. So it's a weak justification for including a specific movement in your training program. We're much better off choosing movements or activities that provide us benefits in addition to getting our heart rate up. We have the activities I just mentioned, but a personal favorite is some of the lower intensity or moderate intensity track and field drills like uh, marching or skipping or a high knee run, which brings up the next point, burpees develop coordination. Okay, but coordination for what? I will grant you that burpees involve a coordinated action of the upper and the lower body, but is the burpee developing your coordination in a way that will help you with any other human task? The track and field drills I just mentioned are a superior choice because they develop your coordination with respect to gait or walking and running. You know, literally the thing that our bodies were designed to do. If you're finding this content useful and informative, make sure you give me a like and hit that subscribe button so you never miss a training tip. I'll be putting out a new video each week to make sure you get the most out of your training sessions. The last point is that burpees burn calories, which of course they do. The logic here is very similar to it gets your heart rate up. Anything that gets your heart rate up is also going to burn calories. But just like anything can get your heart rate up, anything can burn calories. But there's an additional layer to this point too. Whereas it's very important to choose some movements or activities that get your heart rate up, I would argue that it's not important at all to burn a lot of calories in your workout. I will make another video about this another time, but designing your workout 
with the goal of burning as many calories as possible is a great way to steer yourself away from good training choices. Uh, you would care about burning as many calories as possible in your workout if your number one goal is weight loss. And if your number one goal is weight loss, I wish you good luck. I really hope that you have success. But so much of what's going to determine if you are successful is around other aspects of your lifestyle, like your nutrition choices and managing stress and sleep. It doesn't matter if a given workout burns 400 calories and another one burns 600 because what really matters is that you do it over an extended period of time. Additionally, the intra-workout calorie burn doesn't really capture the calorie cost of the workout. There's a phenomenon known as excess post-exercise oxygen consumption, where when we do intense training, our metabolic rates remain elevated for up to 72 hours, depending on the type of training that we do, and we burn calories that way too. And a workout that might not burn as many calories in the workout might burn more calories after the workout. But I still wouldn't choose my workouts based on that. The bottom line is pick exercises that are going to make you stronger, that are going to make you more resilient to injury, that are going to develop physical capacity in some way, and importantly, that you enjoy. Vast majority of the time, the burpee fails all of those tests, and that's why I thought it was important to make this video. I do think that one of the reasons that burpees are so popular is because people mistakenly believe that there's something special about them and that they provide unique benefits that no other movement or training style can provide. And I hope that what we went over today demonstrates that that's not the case. If you like burpees, go ahead and keep doing them by all means, but just consider the things that we covered and understand that there are probably better options to include in your program, regardless of your training goal. I hope you thought today's video was useful, and if you did, please give me a like and make sure you hit that subscribe button so you never miss another training tip. And if you head to the description, you can find my free guide to developing core strength and strength training essentials, my 12-week program specifically for beginners, and you can find information about my online coaching as well. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next week.